What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient Minecraft Bayrock Zero Tick Cup Farm. This farm works on 1.21 and on all platforms of Minecraft Bayrock, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or PC. As you guys can see here, this farm quickly produces a ton of kelp. By the way, kelp can be put into composters to create bone meal. Kelp can also be smelted to create dried kelp. Dried kelp can be used as food or used to create dried kelp blocks. Dried kelp blocks are a great source of fuel for furnaces, blast furnaces, or smokers. For this farm, you'll need two chests, one hopper, two pistons, one sticky piston, two sand blocks, three redstone repeaters, four redstone torches, ten redstone, one water bucket, one kelp, six ladders, one trap door, two glass panes, 19 glass blocks, one lever, one slab. By the way, you can use any slab that you want. One sign, and finally about half a stack of solid blocks. You can use any type of solid block that you want. A couple examples of solid blocks are smooth stone or cobblestone. The first step is to place two solid blocks. Then place a solid block over here and a solid block over here as well. Then break this block. Now place your lever over here, redstone torch over here, and redstone repeater over here. Make sure the two prongs of that redstone repeater are facing that way. Now click this redstone repeater one time. As you guys can see there, that should make it look like that. By doing that, you will make the redstone clock slower. Now place redstone over here. As you guys can see there, that should create a redstone clock. Once you have created that redstone clock, flip this lever down to shut it off. The next step is to place two solid blocks over here, and two solid blocks over here. Then break these four blocks. One, two, three, four. Once you have done that, place a piston over here. Make sure that piston is facing upwards. That piston will prevent sand from falling below the farm. Now place a sticky piston at this spot. As you guys can see there, that sticky piston should extend. Make sure it is facing this way. Now place three blocks over here. Then place sand over here and sand at this spot. The next step is to place a block at each of these spots. That sand and sticky piston system will update the kelp so that it grows instantly. Once you are done with that step, place a solid block over here and a piston on top of it. Make sure that piston is facing this way. That piston will automatically harvest all of the kelp that grows in this farm. The next step is to place three blocks over here, one at this spot, and three over here. Now place three glass blocks over here, three over here, and three over here as well. Then make another glass block wall on this side. To do that, place three glass blocks over here, three over here, and three over here as well. The next step is to place a slab at this spot and a trap door over here. That trap door will allow to easily replant the kelp if it ever breaks. Then place a glass block at this spot. The next step is to place a solid block at this spot. Then crouch down and place two chests over here. Now stand at the spot. Then break this block. Then crouch down and place a hopper over here. Make sure the nozzle of that hopper is pointing that way towards that chest. That hopper will collect all of the kelp that is harvested and funnel it into that collection's chest. The next step is to place a sign at this spot. That sign will ensure the water flows correctly. Then place two glass panes over here. Those glass panes will prevent the water from spilling out the front of the farm while also still allowing the hopper to collect the kelp. Once you have done that, place water in the slab. Then open this trap door and plant kelp over here. That will be the kelp that grows in this farm. Now close this trap door. The next step is to go behind the farm. Then place two redstone over here. Then place a solid block at this spot. Now place a redstone torch on top of it. Now place a solid block on this redstone torch. Then place a redstone torch over here. Now place a solid block on this redstone torch. Then place a redstone torch at this spot. It's really important that you create this redstone torch tower correctly. 
The next step is to place two blocks over here and one at this spot. The next step is to place a redstone repeater at this spot. Make sure the two prongs of that redstone repeater are facing that way. This redstone repeater will delay the redstone signal to that piston. Then place two redstone over here. That redstone will connect the redstone clock to that piston. The next step is to place three redstone over here. Then place two redstone over here. Now face this direction. Then place a redstone repeater at the spot. Make sure the two prongs of that redstone repeater are facing that way. Then click this redstone repeater one time. As you guys can see there, the redstone repeater should now look like that. This redstone repeater will delay the redstone signal to that piston. The final step is to place six ladders over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those ladders will allow you to easily access the top of the farm. That will allow you to replant the kelp if it ever breaks. I am now going to do a quick fly around so you can check and make sure I've made this farm correctly. Over here, there should be the kelp chamber. Over here, there should be the hopper and collection's chest. This side should have this redstone clock. The back should have this redstone. Finally, this side should have this redstone. I am now going to show you all how to use this farm. To use it, first flick this lever up. Then just wait. As you guys can see there, the sand and sticky piston system will update the kelp so that it grows instantly. All the kelp that grows will then get harvested by that piston. The kelp that is harvested will then get pushed by that water stream into that hopper. The hopper will then funnel the kelp into this collection's chest. This farmer is a great quick and easy way to get a ton of kelp. Either way, don't worry if your farm stops producing kelp for a little while because it will quickly produce more kelp later. This farm should only be turned on when you are standing near it. If you are going to leave the farm area or leave the world, first flick this lever down to shut it off. If the kelp in this farm ever breaks for you, you can easily replant it by going up here. If this farm does not work for you, make sure you did all the redstone correctly. That redstone repeater should look like that. This top one should look like that. Finally, this redstone repeater should look like this. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient Minecraft Bayrock Zero Tick Cup Farm. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching.